Forgot to give you money for food stuff. I know the store is empty. Yeah. Thank you. Now you buy whatever food stuff you need, and um, if you need more money, let me know. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Okay. You take it all. I'll take care of you. I will. Okay. I will. Take care of yourself. All right. All right. <laughs> Mom, Mom, you see what I've been saying? Have you seen what I've been saying? My beloved brother has refused to give me money, but he packs like a hundred thousand naira and gives to the wife. What? Hundred thousand? <laughs> Why would he give us so much money? What else? What else? If not to make her hair, fix her nails, and buy some stupid makeup. Hundred thousand naira. Has he gone crazy or what? So where is he now? Oh, he drove off. He drove off because he obviously I was coming in to tell you. Okay, he ran away, isn't it? I see. Fine. And now where is that his precious wife? She's outside. Mom, she's outside and she still has that money with her. Where that nonsense girl? There she is. So I've become too small for you to answer me. Oh, 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 oh. an elder, to be an elder in your father's family. Uh, Mama, why now? What, what, what did I do? Did I do anything wrong? Yes! Where is the money my, my son gave you? It's right here. Oh, Mama, he gave me that money to, to do your hair and make your nails. I know. You have simply come to eat up my son's money. Tell me, has anybody in your family seen wealth? You have come so that you can eat my, my son's money. Yum, 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 yum. Like a thief. For your purpose. Oh, Mama. Hey! One more word from you and I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. And why are you shaking your head like that? You think I cannot slap you? She's not worth the stress at all at all. Don't touch her. Or you see, simply care. Listen. Thank your stars, Mama stopped me. I would have scattered this ugly temptation of yours. Don't leave her. Stupid girl. Thief. You want to reap where you didn't sow, right? Do you think you can turn my son against me? Who? It is you. He will leave. He will leave you. Abandon you. Mm -hmm. Come and take money. Which man? Did she come with any money? Or what is your kid again? What part is drinking again? I have suffered. So it is me, me, that Timothy is threatening to slap. 
He is setting blow for me. Hey! I've suffered though. I have really suffered. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, honestly, I'm beginning to miss you already. Mm. I just want to hold you in my arms right now. Oh, please, don't start, okay? You know how I get when you put me in that mood? I don't stop. <laughs> and you know that my husband is not around to put out the fire. <laughs> okay. I miss you too. Everybody's fine. Mama is fine. Your brother is fine. They are all fine. Okay, my darling. I want you to come home. Come back soon. Okay. I love you too, darling. Bye. Mama, you won't believe it. Are you sure of that? Yes! I am certainly sure. Hey! Tell me, what did you hear? She held her phone like this. Baby! Please don't turn me on. You know, my husband is not here to quench the fire. That means you have to make yourself available. What? Yes. She said that. Mama, have I ever lied to you before? Look, Timothy. We have to catch her red-handed. But Mama, what for? I, I, I saw her saying those things to that, that person on the phone. We have to... We can't just... fight her based on that. We have to catch her red-handed. <sighs> Mama. Mama. It is very obvious that Mary is cheating on my brother. And you know that is very, very dangerous. Yes. She can even give my son one of these venereal diseases. Don't worry. We are going to set a trap for her. If possible, go with her to everywhere she's going. Follow her up, step by step, in this house, until we catch her. Hmm? Then we have, she will never forget what we have done to her. Mama, I need some more money. Ah, what happened to the money I gave you the other day? The hundred thousand naira I collected from Mary. Mama, it's finished now. I used it all. It wasn't even enough. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You mean you blew up a whole hundred thousand naira in four days? Mama. That money lasted 20 minutes in the club with my friends, and it was not enough. One of my friends actually had to borrow me some money, and he wants it back today. Anyway... How can you go about incurring debts for us here and there? This is not fair now. Mama, listen, if you don't give me money right now, you come to the police station and bail me for incurring debts. What? Is, is your friend a police officer? His elder brother is a police officer. In fact, a police inspector. My friend actually borrowed the money from his brother and gave it to me. And the brother wants it today. How much did you collect from me? It's just 80,000 naira. 80,000 naira? You call it just? That's not how I can give you all that. That's all I have on me. 
80,000 naira, nothing more. Anyway, I, I can only spare 50,000 naira. 50 what? Yes, now. Mama, 50,000 is too small now. What will I do 50,000 naira? Oh, okay, make it 60k. No. No, hell no. Okay, I'll just add 5,000 naira and make it 55,000. 55? Oh, Mama, you have money now. What's 55? Oh, okay, fine. Where's the 55,000? Bring it. Go and get my bag. Hundred thousand naira in just four days. Can you be blowing up money like that? That's not possible. There's, there's not too much salt in the soup. So I'm not lying. Oh, I, 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 I don't know when a soup is salty or my taste bud is old because of age or even dead. Mama, please excuse me. Let me just taste it.
Jesus. This is not possible now. No, I, I didn't put too much salt. No, I, I even tasted the food after cooking it and it tasted nice and okay. But this is very strange. Mary, why do you hate me so much? Are you fully aware that I'm an aged woman who must be careful about the quantity of salt I eat? Why would you want to kill me? Why? Ma Mama, let, let me let me taste. Mama, you see, I told you this girl wants to kill us. She wants to cut our intestine with so much salt so she can inherit my brother's wealth. Oh, come on. Why would you want to kill us? What have we done to you? What? Mama, please, it's not like that. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It was not deliberate. Please. Let us assume it wasn't intentional that you wanted to kill us. Let us also assume that it was a mere mistake. Let me ask you. Why would you cook a whole pot of soup with so much money? Lot, thousands of naira. And then destroy with salt. My son's money. Mary. Mama, I'm sorry, please. It was not deliberate. I'm confused myself. I am not going to throw away this soup or force you to eat it. I am going to put it inside the freezer and wait for my son to return so he can taste it just like we have. I'm sorry. It wasn't deliberate. So I have to make life miserable for you in this house. Because of you, my brother hates me so much. Because of you, my brother has refused to give me money. I will show you. Timothy. So, this is your handiwork. This is your own childish way of making Mama get upset with me. By spoiling my soup with salt. Taking too much. You're taking too much. You better respect yourself. Respect yourself. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Mary. Why haven't you cooked food for us to eat this morning? Because there is nothing to be cooked. And what does that mean? It simply means that there is no food in the house to be cooked. Well, the only food we have in this house is the soup which you spilled with salt. So if you're so hungry, why don't you go to the freezer, dish some, and, you know, I can help you make a bite if you don't know how to do that. You're very stupid for asking me to eat that sort of stuff. You slut! And I'll slap you again if you provoke me any further. No, the only reason why I will not react to this is because you are my husband's brother. No one has ever tried this without having to eat his or her excreta. Now do not try it again. Don't try it again. Else you would not like this war that you are about to begin. What did you say? What did you just say? Did I hear you say war? You want war with me? You 
piece of rag trying to rub shoulders with me in my own brother's house. You, a woman trying to pair your strength with me. Okay, fine. Fight. I want you to fight me. Timothy, you are pushing me. You are pushing me to the wall. I'm pushing you. Hmm. The last time I checked, this is pushed. Fight me! Come on, fight me! What is it? You want to kill her before her husband returns? Mama, what is her use in this house if she cannot make food for us to eat? Mary, why didn't you cook? Do you want us to starve? Mama, I have explained to him that there is no food in this house. Mama, you know that's completely impossible. My brother cannot leave this house without dropping money for us to eat food. She has used the money on her hair and her nails, Mama. Mary, how can you use the money given to you for food for your nails and your hair? Mama, I didn't do anything like that. Rather, he squandered the money on women and alcohol. Mama, you see? I told you this girl keeps... I'm going to kill you in this house! Mama, you... you, you, you I'm going to punch your face! You still have mouth to talk! No, 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 no. Mary, do you think if I left you, you would have been able to match strength with him? Eh? Leave her, don't kill her. Don't touch her again. Now go into the kitchen and prepare food for us to eat. Go. With what? With what? I told you there is no food. There is no food. But my son drops money now. Yes, he did drop money. The same money you took from me, I handed over it to him to squander. Wait a minute. You mean that money was meant for a food stop? Yes, it was. I tried to explain to you, but you wouldn't listen. There is nothing I can do. There is no food. Damn it. But you told me she wanted to use the money for, for, for her hair and her nails. Mama, I thought so. Huh? You thought? You thought so, eh? No problem. Keep thoughting. When you finish thoughting, you will think. And then you will starve. But mama, I'm hungry now. Tell her to give me food to eat. You are talking about hunger. I'm talking about starvation. <laughs> and where's that girl? I have to finish it. Hello. Mary Magdalene. Jesus Lord. Francis. What are you doing here? I, I, I came to see you. You came to see me? In my husband's house? For Christ's sake, I've told you I'm married and nothing can ever bring me back to you. I, I just need to discuss it. I don't want to hear it. Listen, just, if you know what is good for you, you better go back to wherever you came from and forget you ever knew me. Listen, I don't have to call the security to throw you out. Mary, calm down. I don't want to, for Christ's sake, do you want to break my home? Change your okay! Change your okay! Madame. Come, come, come. I'll finish with him. Let him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For what man did he do? He should never come it's back okay. to this house again. Don't ever let him in. Get him out if you have to carry him. Carry him, carry him on, the, on, on your shoulders. Say you turn, no means I know if you march you out of the gate. You know, say no be by height and by might. Oh, yeah, for what march? Mary. Jesus Christ. Francis, are you following me around? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Actually, I, I, I need to talk to you. I need your help. You need my help? What kind of help? Jesus. Who? What happened to you? Forget it. It's nothing serious. You call this nothing? 
Was it that your husband? What? Tony would never lay a finger on me. It's a kid, brother. And what did your husband do? My husband is not in town. Now, Francis, will you stop questioning me about my personal life? And tell me what you want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, uh, my father is dying. I, I can barely eat, not to talk of paying his hospital bills. How bad is it? Very bad. Very, very bad. The hospital is insisting that I pay 50,000 naira. Don't have it. And I didn't know who else to get it from. So that's why I came looking for you. Okay, um, you follow me to the car. I'll give you some money. You give me money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mary, after everything I, I, I did to you, I'm shocked that you still want to help me. Please, can we stop talking about the past? All that is behind me. The good thing is that we are all alive and well. Follow me. Thank you, ma'am. Now. I want you to use it to pay for your father's medical bills. Also, use the rest to get yourself some trousers and some nice shirts. You don't look nice in this at all. Bless you too. Just make sure you get some medical care that you need, okay? Take care. Same thing. So why should you hide food at me? Because I do not want another sort of accident to happen. Okay. I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Okay. Right after I'm done with the dishes. Mary, you expect me to wait for you to finish washing before I can eat food? Or would you rather it's important. Okay, I'll wait for your today. Sorry, I was actually no, uh, I'll be able to do it.
Daddy, what are you doing here? Calm down. Listen, let's do it quickly. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Okay. If you get out of here, you cursed goat. Listen, I know you've been sex starved. I know you've been longing for sex since my brother left you. But trust me, I'm here to take care of you. And by the time I'm done, my brother is gonna say thank you when he returns. No, I, I, I'm sorry! You had to cuss it. I swear to God, you blind fool, you're not going to shoot yourself and get out of this room this minute! Come in. No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Why are you scared? Why are you scared? I am here. I am here. Your greatest fear. Your greatest fear. I'll eat up your I'll heart. I'll eat up your heart. And then your soul. Then your soul. Hey, 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 baby, slow down. Slow down. It's you. Of course it's me. You're back. Yes, I am back. But uh, how did you get in? I, I, I locked... Darling, I have the spare key. Aren't you going to welcome me? I'm sorry. Come here. You're welcome. Hey. Your eye. Oh, no, it's nothing. What happened? I, I said it's nothing. Did somebody hit you? Huh? Look, Tonika, why don't you come down? It's just no, no, no. Did, did, did Timothy do this? No, no, no. Listen, it's nothing to worry about. What do you? Just... Tim Timothy hit you? It's Tim. <laughs> Can't you see my face? Why? What? Your eyes see my eyes. You're so ugly. You're so ugly. What? Go ahead and kill your only kid brother because of that prostitute you call your wife. What? What, 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 what did you just say? I will say it over and over again. Your wife is nothing but a cheap prostitute, free woman. Uh, uh, excuse me? Yes. She wanted to lure your kid brother to sleep with her. What? That is a lie. No, no, no. What, 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 what did you just say? What? Your wife here wanted to seduce your kid brother Timothy to sleep with her. He refused. She used a hammer on him. He had to fight back. He had to defend himself. That is a big lie, man. You know it. Timothy here tried to rape me. He beat me up when I stopped him. I only just, I just, just fought him back. I never hit him with anything. Mama, I told you. I told you she was going to lie about it. Now she has reversed everything. You don't know who was lying. You don't know the liar. Will you shut up? Cheap prostitute. 
What makes you feel that my son here will listen to you more than his kid brother? I said, enough, 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 enough. Now you, why would my wife want to lure you to bed with her? Okay, now give me your proof. Listen, it's very simple. Mama here knows everything. She's my witness. Oh yes, I saw everything. Listen, let me just let the cat out of the bag. Your so-called wife figured I had found out about her sexual relationship with her boyfriend. In return, she wanted to sleep with me. She offered to sleep with me and I said no. That's all. You are crazy! Crazy! I decided against me! That's all you do, you coward! You even wanted to hit him again in my presence. Tony! Did you see your wife's eye? Like a lion as I was to devour her prey. You cheap prostitute! Stop, 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 stop now. Now you, you said she has a, a lover. Oh yes, yes she does. One very tall guy, fair skinned in complexion. Listen, your wife never got off the phone with him. Ever since you traveled, she's been going to have sex with this guy on a daily basis. There's no day that goes by she doesn't talk to him on the phone. Yes, she's always on phone with him. If I, for hours. They'll be talking on phone, eh? Talking about how they are going to meet to have sex another time. This is ridiculous for Christ's sake. What is ridiculous? Oh, yes! Ridiculous! You think we will find out? Eh? She's always taking calls. And she will never take those calls anywhere around us. Cheap woman. Your inner has been opened. <laughs> we have all the facts. Tim, show your brother the facts of life. Oh, yes! Bro, I took the trouble of keeping records of every call she made. Call duration, call time. I even have pictures with the two of them. Here, pictures of the two of them holding hands. Say it. Is that you good? Francis! Oh, when did Francis become Tony? This is not what it looks like. You have to listen to me. Yeah. Honestly, I can explain this. It, 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 I have nothing to do with this. Mary, stand up. <laughs> Go to the room. And pack your things and leave our house. Leave! Cheap woman! <laughs> hey, 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 listen. My brother said, Go to the room. And my mother finished this statement. My mother said, pack your things and get the hell out of this house. How could I see? I said, stand up, go to the room and wait for me. You still have some explanation to do. What nonsense? Send her back in! <laughs> Stop moving! <laughs> Are you all right? Send her back in! Not until I've had my judgment. She still remains in this house. Control her. She controls him. Hmm. Okay. Tony, please. You have to believe me. There is nothing between Francis and I, I swear. Tony, think about it. I have never lived with any man in my life except you. You are the old first person that. You broke my virginity yourself, Tony. I swear on the grave of my late parents. Oh, oh all right. I, I know I, I did break you. Yes, fine. All right? But I'm confused right now. I mean, they have very good evidence against you. Tony, but you have to believe me. Believe your wife. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm not denying meeting with Francis. I'm not denying giving him money, but that is all. He only just came for her sisters, please. All right. This Francis, what's his phone number? Francis doesn't even have a phone. Where does he live? He lives a few meters away from my house in the village. 
Fine. Where's your phone? It's, it's, it's under the pillow. Guess what? You are grounded, okay? Which means you will not leave this house until I say so. Which in turn means no more buying anything outside this compound, no jogging outside this compound or whatsoever until I say so. You are grounded. <laughs> So how did it go? Good. I have it all on tape. You think they're having an affair? On the contrary. Nothing between them. Let's go. You hear the confession yourself. Mary. Sit down. Why? Why is not even supposed to be here? We're asking her to Mama, this is still my house. Please. Okay. Just say what you want to say and send her packing. Mama. Timothy. Mary. You three disappoint me. Yes. I mean... I traveled for some weeks and he turned my house into a war zone. Timothy beat up my wife and you, Mama, support all his wrongs. Are you drunk? Didn't you see what- Mama, I haven't finished. Now, Mary, I blame you. I blame you for all this. Severally, I called you and you never for once mentioned that Mama and Timothy have been maltreating you. You never even mentioned that Timothy beat you up simply because of food. You never did. No. Who has been feeding you with these lies? Well, Mama, it doesn't matter who has been feeding me. The truth is that I have my facts. Oh. They get my husband telling you things. Like I said, it doesn't matter who told me what. I mean, you and your son ganged up against my wife simply because Timothy here hasn't been getting enough of my attention. No, but that, that is not true. But bro, that's very wrong information. You. Hey, 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 now listen. One more word from your lying deceitful tongue and I'll throw you out of my house and out of my life for good. And I don't even care if mama here follows you. <gasps> now you, Mary, the truth is you and Francis are friends, very close friends. It is also true that you withdrew 100,000 naira from your account to help his dying father. But the truth is that if you had informed me before this whole episode, it wouldn't have been hard to believe you. Oh, so we are the ones lying now? Yes. As a matter of fact, yes. Now, I don't know what you stand to gain from all this. I don't know. I mean, this thing here went up to my room to rape my wife. He tried to rape my own wife in my house. And you support that kind of betrayal? If not for God and what people would say, I would have thrown both of you out of my life a very long time ago. Now you, look at me. I said, look at me, my friend. I would 
Just pretend. Okay? I'll pretend that this whole thing never happened. Okay? This whole episode of you trying to wake my wife in my house never happened. Or even you beating her up never happened. But I tell you this. If you ever, ever, ever in your life try to raise a finger to touch her dress, not to talk of her face. Now this is for you. If that happens, you will either lose one of your sons or you will lose both of them. Let's go. Leave me alone. It was all your fault. Deceiving me all this while and telling me lies. But Mama I was going to say I love you. She Shut up! Love you, you Shut up! Love you, forget about idiot. Mama, so you believe him now? Don't now hate me. I want his finish. I am really, really sorry. I shouldn't have doubted your sincerity. Please forgive me. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. I'm impressed. Oh my god, I'm impressed. You're fit. Oh, you're fit. You know, you always told me to keep working out. So I've been doing it every day. Oh my god. I think I should go to the hospital. Huh? What? Why? What happened? It is, it's my period. I expected it the whole of last month. It did not come. And now this month is almost getting to an end. It still hasn't come. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is this supposed to be funny? Forgive me, but it's only natural. You're pregnant. What? Yeah. But, but how would you know? I mean, come on. I expected to know better. When a woman doesn't get her flu as at when due, it's only obvious she's pregnant. Really? Yeah, we have been really doing it. You're <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Are you serious? <laughs> Come in! <laughs> I want to see you. You want to see me? Okay. You see me. In private. Okay. Where are you going? I am trying to excuse you both. Stay put. <sighs> Mister, if you have anything to say, let it out. Perhaps you said in private. Well, I don't see a stranger here, and if it's my wife, of course she can listen. Mm. Alright, fine. I need some money. Aha! Aha! I knew that was what this was all about. How much are we talking about, sir? Just a hundred K. Just a hundred thousand now. Yeah. Just a hundred thousand. Okay. Have you finished the hundred thousand now you seized from my wife? That, 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 what? You, you think I pluck money from trees or I pick money on the ground? Or better still, I have a money minting printing machine here. Bro, there's no need for all these sermons, okay? Just give me the money, that's the most important thing. Yeah, of course it's important. It is so, 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 so important. Yes, today is Friday, and of course we have to party, we need to go to the clubs, we need to cruise the chicks, of course. Bro, that's what's up, you did Please it. Shut up. You're an idiot. 
<laughs> friend, will you get out of here before I puke on you? Uh, honey, Just stay out of this, okay? What does it take me for? Somebody who has no sense as to how to spend money? Is that it? My friend, will you leave here before I spit on you? And I mean it. Bounce! Don't you think you're being too harsh on him? Well, that's and much more he'll be getting from me. Why don't you get him a job? Or set him up in a business or something? <laughs> set him up a business? That one. You don't know him. In one week, that business will be done and dusted. You don't know him. I know that. But then again, he's a man. You will still need to help him. Very soon, I'm sure he'll be thinking of getting his own home and getting a wife and possibly kids. Would you rather he run to you for every expense he would be needing? I think you should think about it. You know, as much as I hate to admit, you have a point. He will grow up. It's just a child. Hmm? Hello, son. How are you today? Hmm. Reading newspaper? Yes. All right, Mama, what is it? Uh, I want you to give me some money. Since you have refused to give me the usual monthly allowance you have been giving me. I'm sorry, I don't have money till the end of the month. End of the month? Yeah. No, no, no. I can't wait. I need some money. Just give me money. I mean, for goodness sakes, what do you even do with all the money I give you? Mm. How can you ask me that? Eh? Am I not old enough to know what to do with my money? Well, I have that answer for you. You give your money to that your reckless son, Timothy. I mean, you're the one spoiling Timothy. He's become so useless that he depends on only my very self or you for money. Now, he's also become so useless that he cannot even go hustle like others do. I work for my money, so he should go get himself a job. How can you say that? Eh? You know he's not as strong as you are. Uh, really? But, but he has the power to party every time. He has the power to go around all the clubs in this town. And he has the power to beat up my wife. Anyway, he's your brother. You can go ahead and talk to him. Right. But meanwhile, me, I need some money. I need money. And like I said, I don't have money till the end of the month. If you tell your wife now, you jump up and get her some money. Till the end of the month. Give me money. I don't have money. And I won't have money till the end of the month. Now, in the meantime, you get to your son, Timothy. Ask him to tell you whatever business he wants to do. And then get back to me. Then, at the end of the month, when I have money, Maybe I'll give him. Well, give me that money now. Give me money. Look, Tim, if you don't convince him, you won't get the required amount. That's exactly the same thing I'm saying, Mom. I'm sure with your support, he's going to give me. So... How much are you asking for? Seven million. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. How much is my own commission? Commission? But what do you need a commission for? Why would I need commission? Mm. 
Okay, I'll give you 500,000. No problem. In that case, I would like you to beef it up. Add 3 million Naira to it. So you should be asking for 10 million Naira so I can get my 3.5 million. Okay. But in that case, there's no need to give you the 500,000 Naira. Then you won't get my vote. Okay, Mama, I'll, I'll give you 3.5 million. That's a deal. But Mama, what do you need all this money for? What do you need it all for? I'm a young boy now, and I don't need money. Uh, I'm an old man, I need it to vitalize. <laughs> Okay, honey. So, tell me. What did the doctor say about your senior trip? He said exactly the same thing you said. I am pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. <laughs> Which means I'm going to be a father. Yes. Huh? And I'm thinking it's going to be a boy. Maybe if it's a boy, I'll be so glad. <laughs> what? I need to take a shower. I'm supposed to take it right now. Mm, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you have to kiss me first. Mm, okay. Yeah. And again. <laughs> no, seriously, baby, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> seriously. You have to stop all the exercises. Why? Baby, it's not good for our child. Come on. Oh, okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And um, again, uh, Mama and Timothy, you think I handled them good? Mm, yes, you did. You did good. But hmm, from the look on their faces, I don't think they quite liked the amount of money given to them. But then again, I'm thinking, maybe you should also set Mama up in a business. You know, something small she can manage. No, not a bad idea. I also think I should set you up so you can start working. Me? Yeah. Work? Of course. I'm thinking of, you know, opening up a shopping mall for you. <gasps> really? Yes, yes. Oh my God! Oh, stop! I mean, you're very intelligent and you're very good at handling things. Oh, why not? God, I feel like crying. I'm so happy. Wow. <laughs> now, is this the part this. where I get to have my kiss and proper hug? Huh? <laughs> you deserve everything. But first, I'm going to have to take a shower. So, I can give you everything. Full package. How about I escort you to the shower? So why don't you carry me instead of carrying the whole thing? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, you know I'm pregnant. You need to treat me with ease. Okay. okay. Mama. Mama, I need to talk to you. Wake up. Oh. I'm tired. I want to sleep. Mama. Mama, it's important. Can you can you sit up? Yeah. Mama, sit up and hear me out now. What is it? Mama, sit up and hear me out now. Mama, Mama, your son is about to spend 50 million naira on his wife. 50 million naira on what? Hey, he wants to open up a shopping mall for her, obviously. Hi. Uh, is that why he has not been giving us money? Mama, you see, sometimes I tell you the truth and you don't understand. I told you that girl used juju on him. Now he doesn't think with his head anymore. And he's spending 50 million naira on her. 50 million. Hmm. Tell me. What is it? Is this the way you want to treat your brother and I? Eh? I asked you for money you said you don't have. 
start a 10 million naira business for your kid brother. You said you can only spare 1 million naira. Yet you are planning to, to spend 50 million naira on your wife's shopping mall. 50? I don't remember discussing that with you. I mean... <laughs> are you trying to deny it? Eh? Are you denying having discussed that with your wife last night? Discussed with her? Mama, seriously, have you started eavesdropping on me? Because I don't know what to tell you right now. Look, you definitely don't have anything to say. You don't have anything to say. Eh? Just go upstairs, drop whatever you are doing, go upstairs. Write a check of 10 million naira and bring it. Okay, sir. Now, um, here's a check in your name. Go on. You take one million naira and you give my one million naira. Start off whatever you want to start. One million naira for me? What would I use that for? Mama, that's my new policy. Yeah. See, you take one million naira and he takes one million naira. That's a check for two million naira. Okay, start up whatever business you want to start up with. After all, I mean, I started up with something less than that. Look at me now. But I asked you to write 10 million naira. Mama, whatever juju you are using, can't you see it's not working? Change. Get another native doctor. Please. Mama. Mama. What nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? No, tell me, what would one million naira do for me? Listen, go and tell your son this money won't be enough or else you won't get your own share of the money. What do you mean by that? Eh? Try it and I will tear you apart. But mama, you were here when you wrote the check of two million. What, 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 what would this, what would, what would two, two million naira do for me? Did you have 100,000 naira? Did you have it? Stupid boy. I thought I told Chijoke to wash my car. It's not in the compound. I think your brother must have driven it out. Excuse me? Driven what out? I only gave him access to that car over there. Why would he drive my car? For what? Chijoke! Chijoke! Come here, come, come, come here. Why would you allow uh, to to drive out my car. Oga, I bet no vessel. I be no one open up for him. But Oga team say he go blow me well well. I hear my reason I'm say he get as he be for me to leave road, enter bush. I can't open up for him. My friend, get out of here. Will you stop there? Go and watch the SUV for me. Quick, move. Look, seriously, this boy is getting on my nerves. He's really getting on my nerves. Just calm down. I mean, what's this? Why would you drive my car? Calm down. Calm down. Just. Take any of the other cars and go. Huh? I mean, but I'm almost late. I mean, what, what is this? It's all right now. You don't have another option. Just take one of the cars and go. Or do you want to call a cab? Why do I don't understand this boy? And who do you want to call? Timothy, of course. Stop wasting your time. He's not going to pick. 
I advise you just take the other car and just go for your appointment before you run late. I mean, my, my bankers, have they started taking cheap drugs? What is it? Why would they send me this kind of alert? Saying I withdrew 22 million naira from my account. Did you give anyone a check? No, only... Um, the check I gave uh, Mama and Timothy for 2 million naira, that's it. You better call your account officer now. Honey, did you pick my call? What? No. I mean, my account officer's call is not on the missed call list. He did call me and somebody picked it. But you know I would not pick your call except you asked me to. Yeah, Patrick. Uh, yes. Uh, um, uh, what's going on with your bank? Uh, what kind of alerts did they send me? Yeah, yeah. Saying I withdrew twenty-two million naira from my account. What's that all about? Uh, yes, I only gave my brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I only gave my brother a check for two million naira. That's it. What? Wait, 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 wait. You called me, and I gave you confirmation. What are you talking about? He's been there already. Please, please, I beg you in the name of God, please, please, just stop him. Stop him, please, please, I beg you, just stop him, stop him, please, please. Oh my God, oh my God, this boy has finished me. Timothy has gone to the bank and he has withdrawn 22 million naira from my account. Jesus. I'm in 22. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Your son has succeeded in defrauding me. Your criminal son has succeeded in defrauding me of 22 million naira. 22 million naira. Are you sure it was my team that collected them? If not him, who else? If not Timothy, who else could have done it? He's not the only one that has access to your checkbook. Eh? Did you ask your wife? She might be the one that did it. Mama, you and I know that there's no way I could do something like that. No, 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 no. Excuse me, Mama. Excuse me. I am telling you that your son, your criminal son, pulled out 22 million naira from my bank account and yet you are accusing my wife? Timothy cannot do something like that. He cannot. Who, who, who did it? Of course he bloody did it. He bloody did it. Now let me tell you how he did it. He changed the figures on the check I gave him for 2 million naira to 22 million naira. And when my bankers called, he picked up my phone, pretended to be me, and told them to confirm payment. Really? Yes, really. Now ask yourself this question, why hasn't he come home since morning? Why hasn't he come home since he did it? And worse still, he took one of my cars, my best car. Well, he must have a reason for doing so. What, 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 what reason? No, 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 Mama, please. Tony's very upset. Don't make things worse. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up! You are the cause of this whole thing. How? How am I the cause? Did I ask Timothy to go and take his brother's money? Did you say take? He stole my money. That criminal stole my money. And Mama says nothing wrong in it. Uh, if he didn't steal your money, whose money will he steal? Is he not your blood brother? Eh? You are just shouting because he took a little out of your money. Excuse me? Excuse me? You call 22 million naira small money? 22 million naira small money? No, no, what do you take me for? You, you think I am some rich idiot who stacked up some billions somewhere and doesn't know what to do with it? But you are rich now. Oh, and that's why your very self and Timothy you want to kill me. Both of you want to kill me. Now, let me tell you this. Kindly, kindly communicate to him because I know you can get to him. Now tell him to get back my money before the end of today, else consider him dead. That's what I said. Empty threats. No matter what is still your brother, blood is thicker than water. And a thief is a thief. Will you shut up your mouth? If you open your mouth to talk to me again, I'll spit fire on your face. Stop now, 
How much is 22 million naira that he wants to bust his head? Give me hypertension. Screaming like one cursed demon. Wait a minute. Timothy with 22 million. I must call him. Where's my phone? Hey, God. It's been two weeks. And Timothy is nowhere to be found with the car. Ma'am, I, I, I'm sure he must have squandered all the money by now. Hey! Jesus Christ. Hey, but wait, oh. Can't the police track him down? Look, there's been no trace of the car. No trace of Timothy. I can bet anything that he's in one neighboring country. May maybe go to New Ghana or Togo. Hey, Jesus Christ. What kind of problem is this? Hmm? Oh my God. So, what are you going to do now? No, seriously, I do not know. My building project has not been finished. My workers have started complaining. I only have 25 million naira in my account, which is not enough to finish up that project. And very soon, my clients will start complaining, and that consequence is one I cannot handle. Seriously. God. Hey, but why? Timothy, why? Why? What kind of wickedness is this? I mean, what haven't I done for this boy? Hey. No, what? Huh? What haven't I done for Timothy? I don't know why he's bent on ruining me. Okay, nice to die, Oh, my husband, please. Calm down now, I beg you. Uh, please, just calm down. I believe God will do something. Oh, Bikono. Calm down. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say again. Please now. I don't want you having a high blood pressure. Please. What did I do for this boy? Don't make him way. Don't worry. Please. Please come and just sit down. Don't come on. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, this boy, I have. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Timothy, look, your brother is very angry with you now. By the way, where are you? Ghana, with all that money. Look, don't come back and be telling me that you spent all that money, including my own bathroom. Of course now. You have to give me my own part of the money now. See? I worked it out before you had the chance to do whatever you did. I want half of that money, 11 million naira into my account. Now. So when are you paying? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll call you when he comes down, okay? Love you. Mm. A millionaire. Oh. I, I need some money so I can go to the market and buy some things. Just give me twenty thousand naira. Come on, I'm talking to you. Never mind. Don't you need to no, please, please. Just let me be. I am broke. Better still, why don't you call your son? Because I know you know how to get to him. Why don't you call him and tell him to give you some of the money he stole from me? I have to wait for Tim to come back before I can buy the clothes I saw? Eh? Look at what you're just saying. Am I the one that asked him to have come with your money? Did I send him? I give him money and I need to buy some things. Tony, what is the meaning of all this? Mama. Mama, what is it? What is it, Ogunidi? Eh? Now that his business is suffering from so much setback, 
You are still trying to drain life out of him. What is it? Every time it is Tony give me this, Tony give me that, or it's marry this, or marry that. What is the problem? Mary. Mary Magdalene or whatever it is they call you. Who invited you into this? Eh? Do you have money? Did I call you to give me money? I was only talking to my son. What business of yours is it? Not anymore. That son of yours now has a wife and a baby coming and I will not sit down, fold my arms and watch you view his life. A wife and a child on the way. <laughs> so because of this stupid pregnancy, this fake pregnancy, you think you have the utmost supremacy over my son against me, his mother. Eh? <laughs> now listen to me. I carried him in my womb for nine solid months. Fed him. Clothed him. Gave him a background. Unlike you, rich. Mm. <laughs> so because you did what nobody has ever done, or what somebody else did not do for you. You're trying to make your own son pay for the things you did to him as a mother by milking him dry? Hmm? Milk him dry? My Tony. Ah, no. My Tony is rich. Very rich. Rich enough to pay your wretched family for one solid year without shaking. <laughs> if you know what is good for you, stay away from my son and I. It is none of your business. Otherwise, I am going to put this your fake pregnancy out of your mouth. <laughs> put my pregnancy out of my mouth. Yes! I'll make you make you pull it out from your mouth. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Mm. Jesus is Lord. Huh? No problem. Mm -hmm. Till then, just try to mind yourself. Mind yourself! Mary Magdalene, mind yourself! Don't ever come between me and my son again. Who are you? I am his mother. He must listen to me first before you, wretch. Stupid. I'm gonna have the police be this. Yes? How can we help? It's alright, darling. I was expecting this. You were? Yes. You're here in respect of the Donald's group project, right? We are from the state CID. Your attention is needed at our office. And you'll be briefed on the charges against you when you get there. Hmm? Honey, you're not just going to follow them just like that, are you? Darling, darling, just call my lawyer, okay? Let us thank God that we were able to make his spare. So we thank God. We really and truly thank God. But not to worry, sir. In due time, my very self, my wife here, and my family will come and show you how appreciative we are. Oh no, Tony, there's no need for that. You and your wife have done well for me in the past. If you had not assisted my son in paying my medical bills, by now I have long been gone. In short, even have been forgotten. Yes, as God may have it, your existence proved useful. 
who would we have run to with the demand of a civil servant the police were asking for to facilitate my in-laws a bell? Well, uh, <clears throat> it's only God that uh, kept us this day. But as to pay my debt to your family, <laughs> my family will forever be indebted to you. Ah, no, 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 I disagree, I disagree, sir. Whatever we did for you was from what God gave us. And that's the way it should be, sir. Um, um, darling, oh, please, uh, I'd like to go take my bath. Um, so please kindly prepare something for my in-law and this sir here. Don't worry, you run along. So if you excuse me just for some minutes. No problem. Thank you. So, uh, Uncle, hmm? let me get you something to drink. I'll be right back. But what are you going to do? You promised to complete that building at the end of June, which is just three months away. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to sell one of my houses. Eh? Sell? Yeah. Why? <clears throat> Honey, why not? Huh? I mean, how else can I raise 40 million naira in three months? No, my other business is slow at generating funds right now, okay? And it will take at least a year before it can raise 40 million naira. So how else will I sort this out? Mm -mm. You're not going to sell your house. This is what you're going to do. You will get a loan from one of your banks using the house you want to sell as collateral. You spread the loan into one and a half years. Before the end of that time, you would have completed the building and be off the hook. Yet, you still keep your house. Honey, you're a genius. No, oh, seriously, you're a genius. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, honey. Um, why did I think of this? Why? Why, why did I? Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. You know, it's so good to see you smile again. Baby, you did the magic. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow morning, I'll just call up my bankers and start the process. That's it. It's done. Oh, we'll be okay. I promise you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, God. Thank you. Well, the bank called. They said they have approved uh, the loan. Yeah, I actually requested for 50 million naira. 50? Yeah. I thought you said you needed just 40 million. Oh, well, I had to request for 50 million naira just in case I'm not able to pay back the loan assets when due. You know, the property I actually used for collateral is worth 80 million naira. Oh, so you're looking at it like you're selling? Exactly. Oh, my darling, I don't know. I don't think you should be... You should always have a positive mindset. You're going to pay back that loan, all right? There's no point in giving away a property worth 80 million naira for just 50 million naira. Well, I know, I know, I know. But, honey, you just let me do this clearance and then um, both of us will sit down and, um, you know, we'll do the math on how I'll pay back the loan. You and I. Yeah, you and I. I mean, you've got brains, remember, huh? <laughs> Look, later you and I will sit down and then, you know, we'll do our debits and credits, do the whole math on how to pay back the loan. It's all right. You're on the right track. Okay. Are you taking care of you? I will. All right. Uh, man, I love you too. <laughs> all right, take Careful. care. Careful. My wife! How are you? Mama, good morning. Morning. How are you? 
I can see your husband is so excited this morning. Mm. Your baby is growing, oh. <laughs> like how old is he now? Um, it's seven months. Wow, seven months. That means in two months time you become mommy. <laughs> My God, Chris. Hey. That's good. I, I, I heard uh, your husband got killed. Enough to cover the debt. Hey, thank God. That's okay. Hey. Uh, I, I wanted to ask you one favor. You know, my son hardly listens to me these days. I was going to beg you to help me, ask him to give me 10 million naira out of that loan so I can use it to start small business. So I will stop depending on him. Don't, don't worry, I'll give you 2 million naira out of that money. <laughs> Amen. You know, we can actually be good friends. Good, solid business partners. Just help me. She wants to eat my son's money alone, eh? Again? What do you want? No child. Never. You will never have my child. <laughs> you don't have a choice. The child is mine. No! This is serious. Your mother-in-law said all that? Uncle, I'm really scared. She really scared me. Mary, you have every reason to be scared. Couple with those dreams you told me you've been having of late. It's not the first time I'm having those dreams. Before my parents died, two water pots were broken. Now and again, another water pot has been broken. Uncle, I'm scared. I don't want to lose this pregnancy for any reason. God forbid. Hi. I think we should seek spiritual help, Mary. I can't put this all together. But what you've told me about your mother-in-law and her criminal son, both are out to renew. Hey, Jesus. So, Uncle, what, what, what do I now do? What will I do? Huh. So, now you know what I'm Mary, you're back. Mama, good evening. Good evening. I thought you were going to stay like one week with them. I changed my mind. Timothy, so you're back? Um, not really. I just came to see Mama. I heard my brother travel. Yes, he did. But he will soon be back. Okay. In that case, I'll be spending some time. Mm. I'll be in my room. Take good care of yourself. Oh, Why did she come back now? Why? Mama, 
do you think she's going to call Tony to tell him I'm here? If she doesn't call, what can he possibly do from Germany? There's nothing he can do. Just relax. You know I missed you. <laughs> You're going to stay with me for some time, huh? Like a week. Okay, in that case, I'll make it one month. <laughs> that will be okay. So she's pregnant. So, mind that foolish girl. Guess what I saw today in my house? I drove in only to find my husband's brother and the mother. Yes, now. Timothy. Hey. My husband is not back till next month, and he says he's staying for one week. Uncle, I'm worried, though. I'm worried because in this my condition, if he poses a threat to me, I don't know what I'm going to do. No, now I can't. I can't leave home now. I need to be around in case he tries to do anything funny. Okay. Okay, I'll call you if anything comes up. All right, sir. Bye. Tim, why didn't you tell me your plans before carrying them out? Mama, I didn't have time, so I acted very fast. Mm -hmm. But do you know that the money you took from his account cost him a lot of troubles? He, he, he was arrested. Well, he shouldn't have allowed it to get to that point. He should have just given them more money. Mama Tony has money, he's just pretending. I don't think he has a lot of money as we thought. I overheard him saying he wants to go and take a loan from the bank. So what has he been doing with all his money? I don't know. Mama, you see? This is what I have been saying. Ever since he got married to that girl, he has become a financial wreck. He dashes money to her family members. In fact, he's just like a Santa Claus to all of them. What? He dashes her people money? Yes, he does. Mama, you've heard nothing yet. I even heard he's building a very big house for one of her uncles in the village. What? When he has not even built a kitchen for me, except this house. Mama, let me tell you something. You know you don't know Mary very well. I know her very well. Mary and her family members are here to milk my brother dry. But trust me, before they succeed in doing that, I'm going to take all my share. Then if he wants to go broke, he can go broke. Whoa! Mary, you know you still look very sexy, even with the, the big tummy. Hmm? Touch me one more time, and I swear to God, I will cut you into little tiny pieces! Where, where did you get the knife from? Keep away from me, Timothy. <sighs> I was just joking with you. Come on. Listen, you look very sexy, even with the angry face, you know? Listen, I can help my brother top it up, top the baby up, you know, think about it.
Hi. So, good morning, Mom. Sweetie, how are you? I'm fine, Which thank one? you. I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. Okay. I couldn't feel any better, just that I miss my old room. Mm. Mm. Mom, your wife is now a butcher. She moves around with a kitchen knife in her hand. Why? Mm, she wants to protect herself from me. She probably thinks I'm going to beat her up or something. Oh. <laughs> but do you have any plan to do that? Come on, Mom. I have better things to think of. I can't do that. Good. Just make sure you don't go near her so she won't stab you. Stab me? Mm. Timothy. She won't even dare because I'm going to beat her up like a little baby. No! You're right. Just like you disarmed her when she wanted to hit you with a hammer. <laughs> um, Mom, that situation is quite different from this because she actually attacked me from the back. I know. Let's forget about that and talk about something more important. Yeah. Sweetie, where is my own share of the money? Oh, Mom, I thought I told you I'm holding it for you. I'm saving it for you. Why? Don't I have my own bank account? <sighs> okay, fine, Mom. I promise to put it in your account when I get back to Ghana. Good. Um, Mom, I need to go see some of my friends. No problem. Just make sure you don't stay out too late. All right, trust me, Mom. And, Mom, where are their car keys? Go to Mary. Mary? Yeah. Okay. They would never accept defeat. And what are you doing in my room? Um, I came to pick one of the car keys. And the file in your hands? You mean this? I'm trying to keep it safe. Safe? From who? Who asked you? What makes you think that this room is not safe enough for it? Mary, I just told you I'm trying to keep the file safe and you're there asking me stupid questions. Please leave it on. Go. Do not think that because I am pregnant, I cannot hurt you. If you make as much as a step out of this room, I swear to God you will lose your eyeballs to the stools. You just pushed me. And you still have the guts to talk? You think I'm joking? Drop all my belongings. Else I will cut your throat with this. And I promise you I will drive this screw into your eyeballs. Drop it. Hmm? That means I'm dead. So Mary, you want to kill me? Maybe. Drop it. Okay, fine. I do not have any of your belongings, so can I go now? Turn around and get lost. Get out of my room. Do you think I'm playing with you?
He actually came into the room, searched the room, took your file bag. Uh, no, 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 sweetie, don't worry. I took it back from him. I just wanted peace to reign. I know I should have called immediately he got in. I'm sorry about that. He's been in for two days now. I'm sorry. Your baby is doing very well. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Okay, miss you. Come home soon. Bye. You can't just walk into somebody's house and get the first nurses. What have I done? It's madam, madam, please, can, 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 we, can we settle this? Yeah. Can we just settle this here? What? Mm -hmm. Mama? What has my son done? What is wrong? Your son is under arrest. For what? For trespassing on Mr. Tony's property. Mary. Ha. Huh. You want to bring the police to arrest my son? See me, eh? Mama, why would I do something like that? Of course I did not do it. Madam, she's not the one that called us. Mr. Tony himself called our station. But Tony is not even in the country. Yes, he called us from Germany. Move it. But, Mom, Mom. Settle what? Please, please, I'll give you money. Plenty of money, please. Money? Yes. Madam, don't insult me. Huh. I'm please, sorry. Please, that, that boy is too young to sleep with me. You see your life? We have done your worst, isn't it? You have done your worst, Mary. You have done your worst. Haven't you? Mama, what has, what has Mary done again? You were here when the police officer said that it was my husband who called for them to arrest uh, Timothy. How is that my fault? Mary, you have done your worst. When you finish, tell me so I can start mine. Oh, Mama, Mama, this is not fair now. Mary, don't worry. You can now go to the church and do Thanksgiving. Yeah. Go and throw party. Aren't you happy? You're happy, isn't it? When you finish, tell me, so I can open my own chapter. Well, Mama, this, this thing you're doing to me is not fair. Uh, you, you, you were here when the woman said that it was Tony who called for them to arrest the brother. How is that my fault? Eh? <laughs> Mary. Mary, they won't let me see my son. They won't let me see my team. Mama, just calm down and stop crying. How can I stop crying? For two days, my son has been locked up. <laughs> tell your husband to tell them to release my son. No. Tell him to tell them to release his brother. I tried to convince him, but he wouldn't even listen to me. Liar. Mary, you are lying. You are lying. You have not done anything about it. I know how much you, you run around, up and down, doing everything you could to make sure they release your husband when he was arrested by the police. My husband, who happens to also be your son. Your first son for that matter. When Tony was arrested, Mama, you did not even shed a tear for him. Now that Timothy has been detained, you're busy crying, running up and down, running every day to the police station, begging for his release. Mama, this thing you're doing is not good. It's not good. Unfortunately, you have to be there till his brother returns. Mama, you know me, I'm, I'm pregnant. I need all the rest I can get. Is that what you have to say? Is that your plan? You want my son to, 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 to die in, in that smelling place? Eh? <laughs> so this is your plan. They want to kill my son. They want to kill my chief for me. Hi! Okay. Let him go and come back. <laughs> <laughs> 
If anything happens to my team, if anything happens to my team, okay. Okay. Mama, can you believe that after Timothy stole my 22 million naira, he still had the guts to walk into my room and search for the documents to my property? No, that boy does, just doesn't want to ruin me. He wants to ruin me totally. No, no, eh? that is not true. He cannot do all that. Mama, if I had not walked in on him at the time that I did and forcefully collected those documents from him, he would have taken off and only God knows the extent of damage he would have done with it. But what would he have done with those things? Well, it's only obvious. He wants to sell them, yes. He wants to sell them. I mean, can, can you believe that that boy, after stealing my 22 million naira, right now he's broke? He doesn't have a dime? Oh, no. But how would he have spent 22 million naira in a few months? Of course he did spend 22 million naira in months because your son is into gambling. Hey. Come here. He has killed me. No, no, no. He has finished himself. All the while he was collecting money from me, your son was into gambling and right now he's into gambling. He confessed that at the station himself. <laughs> Tony, I didn't know he was into gambling. Though. Well, now you know. What are we going to do now? Huh? What do we do? Look, Mama, I came back here to be with my wife. Okay? As for Timothy, he will remain in that cell and he will get upgraded to prison. He will make much more friends in prison. That's where he'll be for the rest of his life. Please, I beg you, don't punish him like this. He's your only blood brother. Please. Mary, please help me beg your husband not to punish him. He will remain there. Please forgive him. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he has to be in the cell. He has to, no, he has to, he has to be there. That's where like he this? has to be. He has to be himself. Help me beg him, man. They are brothers. Let them not kill themselves because of money. Please. Please. I don't like what you're doing, seriously. I, 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 I really don't enjoy this. Please. You. Mama, they did. They even threatened to shoot me. Hey! Those stupid policemen. Look at how dirty they made you look. Eh? Mama, tell him to come and open this car. Let me carry my shoes now. Wait. You have to go inside first. Take your shower and then change into new dresses. Come, come, come. Let's go. Well, where do you think you go? Huh? I'm going to my room now. You're going where? I don't want to go into my room. No, no, tell me where you're going. Where, where, where do you say you're going? I'm going to my room. Please shut up! Now, Mama, your son whom you begged for is out of the cell, okay? Now do whatever you want to do with him, all right? Now you, you, you this non-living thing, you this thing, because you're not justified to be called a human being, so to me, you are non-living. If you try, ever, ever try to get into my house, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Do you understand me? And you have two minutes to bid your mother farewell. You understand me? That's it. Yeah, yeah, he's so... Ma, I said this done living thing, this moving heap of human trash is not getting into my house, and that's final. Ha. <sighs> Blood is thicker than water, oh. Mama. Eh? Mama, have you heard? Have you heard? He said I shouldn't enter his house. Okay, tell him to come out put this car. Let me take my shoes off. Why are you shouting at me? You should come and open this jeep. Let me take my. I want to take yeah, my yeah, shoes. Let me go and talk to him. Stop shouting. When you're a going to say. When I was telling you that, that that girl bewitched him. You you. Okay. Tony, 
Mama, what am I hearing? Eh? You're so to talk to me! Mama! Uh, I thought they'll be safer in my possession. Mm. Okay. With his lawyer. His lawyer? Mary! I hope you're not trying to play a stupid game here. Because if you try it with me... Hey! If you try it... What is the use of a stupid file without the important documents in them? Where are the documents? <laughs> Don't play a fast game with me. Don't try it. Because you won't like me. Just let's fire. We all know. Our son died an untimely death. And all eyes are raising and questions are being asked to what and why he was killed. Oh, yes, that is why we are here today. Before he can be buried, some sacrifices have to be performed. Sacrifices? Yes. What for? Because he was killed and all fingers point at you. Me? What? How can anyone think that I could possibly kill my husband? Yes, you. It's not obvious that you killed him so you can inherit his properties. But I won't let you have them. I will not. Mama. Mama, you of all people know that I loved my husband and there is no way I could ever think of killing him. Oh, shut up! Shut your mouth up. And what makes you think we haven't found out that you fed my little brother with poison? Jesus. Mama, so... Mama, this is... This, this is how you and your son want to fed me up. To free me up for my own husband's death. Mama, this is, this is, this is how you want to free me up. Mary, it's okay. No need to argue or trying to convince us you did not kill him. Yes, in our tradition. People think you kill him. But if you think you did not, there is only one way to prove your innocence. 
and that is you take a seven day journey into the evil forest at your field mode. What? For Christ's sake, I am pregnant. You're pregnant. What nonsense pregnancy? What nonsense pregnancy? And how are we even sure that my late brother was responsible for that thing you call pregnancy? Even when your brother was alive, he never denied his pregnancy! No, 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 look, look. Listen to me, listen to me, Mary. I will not have you stay in my son's house until you are able to prove to me and the elders and the mother that you are not responsible for Tony's death. Take the journey into the evil forest or leave this house immediately. I am pregnant, you know, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Why? I don't know, but I got a back head up. Shut, shut, shut. Oh, oh, man, I'm mad. Oh, oh, man, I'm mad.
Anyway. Do you want to go back? It's your choice. You can go back. But Yagu is still out there and very, very angry. anything for this. Huh? Take. It's not human meat. It's grass butter. Huh? It has no salt. Yes. I don't get much of salt around here. Why do you have so many guns? I can't fight the beasts with bare hands. Why are you here? I... Banished? N not really. Sent into the forest. Seven days and seven nights to prove my innocence. <laughs> I knew you were coming and I was prepared. How? My deity, Amoma Miri, told me. You need rest. Come, go inside. Your child needs rest. Are you, are you going somewhere? Back to Kidi Agui. It can't stop until you are dead. Jesus. <sighs> yes. You have seen it in its true form. So, so, anyway, do, do you know how to use this? Hold it. All you need to do if you, if you see anything is just pull the... Don't, no, no, no. <sighs> if you see anything, <sighs> aim the thing and pull this trigger. <sighs> huh? <sighs> I'll be back.
Trying to make the bed. We are looking for the documents to your brother's properties. <sighs> Mama, you know we need to keep them safe. They are not here. In fact, they are not anywhere in this whole house. Where could they have kept them? His lawyer has them. It's all your fault. It's all your fault that you didn't have them. Since we are caught searching for those documents in this house. Okay, Mama, fine. I'll have to call the lawyer to bring them. Huh? I have to call the lawyer to bring the, the, the Did you kill it? I couldn't find it. I guess it went deeper into the forest to search for food. But it will come back. But you shot at it back then? Yes, I did. But I wasn't prepared for it. I would have gone with a bigger gun. You also told me that you knew I was coming. I'm sure you must have also known that the big crocodile was going to be there. Well, it doesn't work like that. I'm um, merely spoke of possible danger, but it was not clear. So I went with my little gun. It's okay. It's not coming now. Not this night. Give me. I'm here. Give me. <sighs> you can come inside. What is your name? Mary. Mary Magdalene. And what is yours? I don't know. But I think... Uh... Uh, wait. How long have you lived here? I've lost count. But I know it's well over 25 years. I think you should go back home. Home? This is my home now. I was banished from my village, condemned to live in this forest. Then I was much younger and stronger. Look, such things don't happen out there anymore. Really? Yes. And yet you are here, banished as well. I wasn't banished. What did you do? I was accused of killing my husband. And you didn't do it? I didn't. I was framed. Um, Mr. Lawyer, as we all know, my brother is dead. And the last time I checked, dead people don't come back to life. So that automatically means my mother and myself are his only surviving relatives. So I'm not begging you, but I'm putting it to you. 
that his properties should be in our custody. Yes. I also have that all the documents to his assets are with you. Yes. He filed all his documents with us. Good. Can we have them then? It's not going to be that simple. What nonsense are you talking about? The person in question is dead and buried. So you give us his... What, 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 what rubbish is this? Tim, you don't need to shout. Mom, mom, why won't I shout? You just heard the man. I know. Wait, let's hear him out first. Yes? Why did you say that? He filed all his documents with us, like I said before. But he also made a wheel. Huh? Did you know he was going to die? I didn't know about that. Okay, fine. He made a will, right? He wrote a will. So tell us what is stated in that will we want to know. Uh, I can actually hand you a copy. I don't need a freaking copy. Just tell us verbally what is written in there. All right. He willed all his assets to his child. 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 What child? Tony is here to have a child. As we all know, his wife is pregnant. She will be in custody of all his properties until the child is of age. And then, hand over everything to the child. What did you, what did you say? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Mr. Lawyer, I don't understand what you're talking about. What about my mother and myself? Did he give us anything? I'm afraid nothing was stated in the way. Except the mother and child are no more. That is when you can be in possession of his properties. But she is mandated to release basic allowance to you monthly. What? Tony has killed me. Hmm. Tony has killed me. So, it is not his wife that will take care of me. Mom, Mom, I told you. I told you that that girl is a witch. She bewitched him, but you wouldn't listen to me. You see? Hmm. You can always get a copy of the will if you want. But will you get out of this place? I used to. So, what do you want me to do with it? What do you want me to do with it? I'll be on my way, man. What are you doing? I am making food. Food? How? I made myself a clay pot and I cook with it. <laughs> so, what are you making? I have finished cooking vegetable soup. I am now roasting the yam. Where do you get all these ingredients? Look around you. This is a forest. You will be amazed at what grows in this forest. But it is not all that you can eat. Some of them are for spirit beings that live in this forest. Hmm. Do you mean like the one I encountered before I met you? The Dwarf King. How did you know? You know, he stopped. I thought he had seen me, but then he sniffed around, changed his mind, and walked away. He sniffed and walked away? Yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He realized that you are pregnant, 
and could do no harm. How is that possible? He did not even see me. He didn't need to see you. You urinated on yourself out of fear when you had that encounter. I couldn't help it. It's okay, I know. Just relax, let me finish this food. If she comes back here, Mama, we're doomed. Mama, we're going to be at her mercy. She's going to be giving up 10, 10 cover for food. Mama, I'm not ready for that. That game on, 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 must not come back home. Mama, you're not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Can't you say I'm confused? Mama, how can you be confused in this kind of situation? Desperate situation needs desperate measures. Mama, that girl must die there. Oh. She must die there. Do you intend to go into that forest and get her killed? Huh? No, I can't go to the forest to get a kid. How can I go to the forest to get a kid? Then shut your mouth up if you have nothing better to say. Shut up your mouth. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mama. It is very nice. I am glad you like it. So, how long are you expected to stay here? Seven days and seven nights. Ah, and you've stayed two days and two nights already? I've already spent two days before I met you. Okay. So you have three days to go. Okay. Where are you going? I am going to check my traps. But you haven't finished your food now. I am full already. Ah. What kind of gun is this? Does not look ordinary. Yes, it is not ordinary. It's a gift from my father. Given to him by the gods. He passed it on to me on his dying bed. But you have not loaded it. I don't need to load it. The gods do the loading. You're wondering why I am going out with it? Yes. That is an instruction from my mom and me. I listened to their instructions. That is why I survived this forest. Could, could there be danger ahead? Um, I am not too sure, but maybe Agui or something else. Huh? I'll be back.
you are real. What? Your child. Give me your child, and I will spare your life. I would rather die than allow you have my child. Go. Then I shall take you boys. What with? The gods. Anyway. been dreaming again. No. It is real. You were attacked by a witch. Oh my god. My baby. She wants my child. No. Your baby is safe. She didn't succeed. I have been seeing her in my dreams. Oh. And you were plain ignorant all this while. She almost killed you. Do you know why all these things are happening to you? No. I don't know. to an ibureke ekeke kombe urukuru bebe amu mi yini diegu ekeke ru wakayaka amu mi yini diegu three pots are broken mm. urukuru bebe Mary your husband died as a result of greed. His people killed him. That wouldn't have happened if you had known earlier. Know what? Your mother is dead. Yes, my mother is dead. She died the same day my father died. Only your mother here is being revealed. Amu mi ini die. Amu mi ini die. Peke kero wa kayaka. Amu mi ini die. Mary, your biological father is still alive. What? No, that, that's not. My, my, my father died. He died the same day my mother died. The gods never tell lies. Your mother had a deep secret, which she never told anyone, including the man thought to be your father. A week before that terrible incident, 
Your father visited me in my house and complained about your mother. What did he complain about my mother? He said that your mother and himself went to seek for answers to all the troubles that have been coming their way and they got an answer. Did they say that my mother was responsible for all the predicaments they were going through? Or, or, or did, they, did they label her a witch? No, no. He said that uh, the man asked your mother to confess to some secret to him before you turn 30. Or there will be problems beyond what they are already facing. Uh, she chose not to confess to him. So, he killed her? Oh God! Oh God! But what secrets could my mother could have possibly been keeping? She didn't say. She chose to die with it. I'm sorry, Mary. My brother didn't kill your mother. They were both doomed by time to something greater. But only your mother knew this. And she chose to die with it. So, I was told. But, uh, what could that secret be? You must find him. Find him before the child in you steps out into this world. Else you might die giving breath to that child. You have to find him. Only he alone has the power to break the curse that has kept you over these years. Find who? Where do I start? How, 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 where do I go? <laughs> You have to journey further into the south. There you will see a village called Amodia. The eyes that see all. You will find him. Mama, why are you shouting like that? Hey. You want to bring this house down? My son, how can you talk like that? Can't you see I'm sick? Do you always want me to come into this room and babysit you? I don't have such time. Mama, I offer to take you to the hospital, but you refuse to go. You prefer to, to take palm oil. You finish 25 liters of palm oil in this house. Mama, what kind of sickness is cured with palm oil? I don't have time for your trouble. And your questions. Okay, fine. What do you want me to do? What do you want? Go get me, Pop. 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 Not palm oil anymore. Pop. Pop. Fine. I'll make you pop. What should I add to it? Sugar or salt? No, 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 no. I'm Pop oil. Pop oil. Mama, there's no palm oil in this house. You finish the one in the kitchen. Where do I get palm oil from? Go, 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 go. Go to the bucket. Go, baby, Pop oil. Go. I should go to the market. Go, my papa, you know. Papa, hey. The party, go. Go. Hey, what? Hey. Hey. Hey, what? Hey. Papa, you know. Hey. My papa. 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 Hey. Hey, what? Hey. 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 Hey.
This is how far I can go. Just follow the sun. I'm sure you won't miss your way. Okay. But... I am scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. We've gone past the giant crocodile. It won't come after you again. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Please, I'm looking for the house of that man they call um, the eyes that sees all. Oh, you mean the eyes that sees all? Yes. You take your go straight and get it to the junction. Then take your left. Ask anyone you meet on the way. Okay, thank you. I was directed to this house to see the man they call the eyes that see all. This is the place. Thank God. Um, please, can I see him? I, I need to speak with him. It's urgent and it's very important. You're not from this village? No, I'm not. I joined him from a very far distance just so I could see him. Oh, okay. Come. Do this way. What is it? Um, no, nothing. I I just remembered something. Do you want to go back? No, no, I, I'm here. I'll just see him. Okay, I'm coming. Great son of the universe. Yes, father. You brought in a visitor? Yes, father. She traveled a great distance to see you, father. She's pregnant? Yes, father. What is it, father? Her name was mentioned to me by the spirits before she embarked on this trip. Bring her in. Okay, father.
He will see you now. Okay. Follow me. blind I'm not deaf as well your voice sounds familiar where are you from I am from Umudin I have come to seek answers that's not correct it is not true you came from the dark forest of the spirits you were left for death your husband is dead and we are accused of killing him your child is almost due for birth. Your mother is dead. Yes. Come closer to me. Let me feel your face. That name was given to you before your birth. I knew your mother. You did? Yes. You need to bat, eat good food, and rest. Anuka. Yes, father. Take her to the sanctuary. Give her fresh clothes to wear and good food to eat. Okay, father. Mary. Sir. I know your heart seek answers to your unsolved miseries. Yes. Don't worry. I will tell you everything you need to know very soon. Follow my son. It will make you comfortable. Where did you come from? Are you blind? Can't you recognize me? Mama? Mama, what is this all over your body? Reaction. Reaction from, from the attack. Mama, you're smelling! Please, stop talking too much. Just go and get me red oil. Go, 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 go. Go, go and get me more. In fact, I'm not going upstairs again. I'm going to stay here. Mine is a story of love. Betrayal and cause from a broken heart. My father sent me. He couldn't come, for he has been unwell for two seasons. I am sorry to hear that. We have tried everyone. 
but no one seems to have a cure for our daughter's ailment. Nothing is beyond the Sebuloa. He gives life willingly and is slow in taking it. Will you heal my daughter? I don't want her to die. Please. Chi Uku pays heed to the cry and tears of a mother. Can I see her? We had to bring her here because of the smell. She is plagued by a curse placed by black witches. Witches? Black witches. A life-sucking curse that makes their victims rot slowly before death finally welcomes them in his cold and endless embrace. Please help us. Help us, please. Please, my son. Save my grandchild for me, please. How long has she been like this? Five months. Four market weeks. Before death finally hangs his cloth on your door frame. The ghost forbid. What do we do? We save her life.
Whilst I stayed with Ugoma for months, my father's illness became worse. I couldn't abandon Ugoma's treatment, so I lost my father and gained love, or so I thought. Thank you very much. May the gods bless you. What do we owe you? We'll give you anything that you want. Anything. Just name it. Ugoma was promised to me. I loved her with my soul, for my heart was mine no more.
What do you want? I have not come to fight you. So what have you come to do? Kill me? In death, the termite knows not the difference between the prince and the pauper. I am not a killer. I am a reasonable person. I have come to reason with you, man to man. Reason? You call beating me and my chi to the gates of the afterlife being reasonable? What is done in anger, it's mostly regretted. I know. The Osu says his confidence stems from his bond with the deities he has been dedicated to. Leave me be. I have made peace with my chi. Ibuka, please listen to him, please. I know we wronged you. And I, for one, have wronged you the most. But please, for the sake of the love you have for me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare mock the son of Abarakwe. You hurt me and turn around and ask that I thank you. How much do you want? And what am I selling? I will give you a car. And enough money for seedlings for two seasons. I will make you a rich man. And I will make you a curse for as long as you live. You will not get this offer once I leave this land. Thank you, Chi, that you will live here breathing. Chi Ukuma. Chi Ukuma. I will give you seven days to return what is mine. Or, or what? You're a worse fool than I thought. The little gouts of herbs your father left for you gives you false hope of invisibility. No man holds the key to immortality. Beware. You will beg me when the vultures gather for their feasts. You will beg me. Ah! Beg poverty to unchain you before you exchange words with a freeborn. Ah! Ah! Abarakwe! Abarakwe! Mock not the deity of the earth, for in her bosom will your last sleep be. Mary, you are my seed. Blood of my blood, my first child, and him, my first son, from my late wife. She died few minutes after delivering him, so I was left with him. My son, this is your sister, Mary. Father, after that day, what happened? What happened is what led Mary back to me. Chukuma, seek not what will eat your head. My forefathers were warriors when yours were their slaves. Words spoken to a deaf deity are words spoken in vain. Leave now before your blood pays supplication to Abaranta. You do not scare me. I have come to warn you to keep far away from my wife. Anything stolen will never give you peace of mind. You run so willingly to death. And I have brought him to your house today. Da! You lie. You lie. Hey, I don't you don't
Is that it? The son of Osu Zodji never fails. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> What should we do to him now? Take his eyes. They are the windows to the soul. Without them, you are safe. Bastards. They deserve to die a thousand deaths. I don't understand. Why would anyone do something like that? Insecurity. I suffered the pain of it. I was left to die. I cried and screamed for help. Then my help came. You are the son of Agbarakwe, offspring of Ngurogu Agwagu, bred by the gods. Your chi will guide you. Your late father saw beyond closing his eyes. Use it. Attain your father's position and you shall be well. Calamity and destruction will befall those that did this. They will never know peace. Their offspring 
shall suffer a worse fate. Yes. 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 To the, the sixth, sixth generation. generation. Your parents will be their tears. They will die a mysterious death. They will decay and rot without anyone burying them. Whoever dares to bury their corpse will share in their cause. So you see, Shima's family became cursed. And Ugoma too. So you share the cause, Mary. So did your husband. That caused his sudden death and betrayal from his mother. She is a witch. I'm finished. I am finished. I am cursed. There's no point for me to live because I'm already cursed. I am cursed. Oh, God. Father, does that mean Bombo Church is carrying with Shane the cost too? Yes. If care is not taken, she will die giving birth. But Mary, you are my blood. I will not let you perish because of the sin of your mother. I will do everything to redeem you from the curse so that you will become free again. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please. Please, Mama. Mama, come downstairs. Always stay in your room. Look at how this whole place is smelling. Why did you do that, Sammy? Eh? Eh? Baba, listen. I can't continue to nurse you. Mama, you, you think you should go to the mortuary and deposit yourself. So, so I won't have to worry myself taking you there when you die. Oh, Mama, stop talking. Stop talking. Mama, listen. You disgust me. Mama, listen. The best thing is to take rock poison and die. Don't, don't, don't touch me! Don't, don't touch me! I, I don't want to get infected. What's wrong with your stomach? Hey! 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 Father, my sister has gone into labor. I know. I know. What do I do? Go and call the midwives to assist her to deliver her baby. Father, the process you used on Mary, the ritual, if I'm not wrong, requires life for life. I, I hope you haven't done what I'm thinking, Father. You are my son. You have my wisdom. There is one thing I must pass on to you. Give me your head. I don't understand, Father. Put my hand on your chest. Your sister needs you. Father. Go and save her life.
Yes, I thought so too. But I guess it was meant to be. You couldn't have even if you wanted to. It would delay your pains and leave him. He had to go. Mary, do you know what this means? No. I don't have an idea. He laid his life down for you. For your child to be born. Father laid his life for me. Yes, just as his father did. I never knew it would come to this. I never knew it would come to this. I should have just stayed back. No. Don't blame yourself. It's over now. Mary, you and your child must return to your husband's people before sunset tomorrow. My father is here to be buried. We will bury him together when you return. In that case, I will name my son after him. I will call him Eboka. I'm sure he'll be happy in the afterlife. Sister, you didn't tell us about your sickness. You had sores all over your body. Oh, Uncle, Uncle, this is not the reason why we're here. Huh? Listen, I need you to ask this girl what she's doing in this house. Why is she not in the forest where she belongs? Timothy. Yes, I am back with my child. Both mother and child are very safe and healthy. Mm. So maybe you had the guts to come back into this house after everything you did. Why shouldn't I? I have proven my innocence. I did not kill my husband. You think you have won? Huh? <laughs> Mama, have you not learned enough lessons? You attacked me in your dark room, deep in the forest, and got shot by the arms of the gods. Yet you're still here, even in your condition, bragging and planning on going on another attack. I advise you, woman, in your own interest, it is time to stop. Oh, so, Mary, you have returned? Yes, I have. And with your child? Yes, I have. I went in and I came out unharmed. That has proven my innocence, hasn't it? Yes, it does, though. Listen, what, what nonsense are you people talking about? This woman here killed my brother. It is obvious to everybody. Why you act like you don't know anymore? But she has performed the rituals and came back alive with her child. So you can't accuse her. Is it for that? Yes. She did not kill her husband, your brother. Hmm. So if she did not kill my brother, who killed my brother? I will give you answers to that. Oh, I do. 
I am Anukaya Idu, son of Ebuka the Great, the eye that sees it all. My elders are good to you. Listen, whoever you are, who invited you here? If you don't get out of this place, I'm going to push you out myself. A child you are, and you have come here with my sister Mary to give you answers to the unsolved mysteries here. You'll find no one else other than Tony's mother. At the root of her son's death, she killed her son. In your words, you shall confess. I killed him! Hey! 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 What can you do? What can you do about that? Yes. I killed Tony. I killed him. Yes, I killed Tony. He was becoming very rigid with his money. I had to kill him up so I can take everything. But he went his properties to his wife and child. Leaving nothing, not even a dime. So my Timothy and I. I am a witch! Mama, do you know the gravity of what you're confessing to? Of course not. Yes. Was it not because of you? I did everything. Only now, I regret. My head, whole answers. You are very greedy and ungrateful child. I should have killed you instead of Tony. I love you. I am a Makana 